the UK moves closer to signing a Typhoon jet deal with the Saudis. Britain's biggest arms manufacturer, BAE Systems, is completing an order worth billions of pounds from Saudi Arabia for the purchase of 48 Typhoon fighter jets. The announcement came at the end of a three-day visit to the UK by the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Although the order could help save jobs, it faced widespread criticism. I think that uh, there's a horrific image uh, that was conjured up in my mind when I examined the press and the media coverage of the past few days in terms of the visit of the uh, Saudi uh, family. And, uh, they're meeting with the royal family here, with the politicians here. <clears throat> and it's an image of uh, people sitting around the dinner table, eating uh, finest food and drinking the finest drinks and uh, laughing and joking, making deals, whilst uh, in Yemen, the same governments are colluding, the same governments are bombing, killing children, bombing schools, and putting uh, many, many people in Yemen on the brink of salvation. While London is looking for new post-Brexit markets, Bin Salman is going to convince investors that his country is a tolerant and modernizing place. Amid outcry over the relationship with Saudi Arabia, the British have just signed a £100 million aid agreement with Riyadh. The controversial deal has been described as a national disgrace, given the kingdom's leading role in the Yemen war. Blasting the deal, Kate Ozamar, the shadow international development secretary, said, quote, it will whitewash Saudi Arabia's reputation and role in the war, and it is a national disgrace, unquote. Alan Hogart from Amnesty International UK also voiced concern over the deal, quote, it is not good enough for the UK to provide humanitarian aid on the one hand and supply the weapons that fuel a humanitarian crisis on the other, unquote. Critics say by signing agreements with Saudi Arabia, Britain has sided with the country responsible for the world's worst man-made humanitarian crisis. More than 8 million people in Yemen are now in danger of famine. Well, uh, politics can be a, a very dirty game, you know that. And, uh, the politics of this situation is very, very tenuous. Britain uh, is desperate to uh, make uh, everlasting friends with the Saudi regime. It's not just uh, this two billion that's been reported in terms of the arms deal, uh, but it's in terms of all the other deals which are building up and have built up over recent years. The decision of uh, the Saudis of where to place the uh, financial uh, holdings of its oil company Aramco, which is going to be decided uh, over the next uh, months, uh, is crucial for Britain to secure. And I think that uh, that's what the cost is of this, uh, this relationship with the Saudi uh, regime is for Britain, certainly the politicians, uh, many of them to turn a blind eye to what's happening in the Yemen. Last week, Theresa May welcomed bin Salman, the de facto ruler of a kingdom where flogging, torturing and not electing a central government are the building block of society. However, keeping the lucrative tie with the very kingdom seems to weigh on May's mind more than anything else. But the question is how far the UK can go in backing the Saudis in the international arena. It's difficult to judge what the future will hold. Uh, clearly there are immense geopolitical uh, considerations for Iran, for Saudi Arabia and for uh, any Western uh, European or indeed any power which decides to side with uh, uh, the Saudi regime. Uh, what's at stake here, more than anything else, is the lives of the Yemeni people. What's at stake is the uh, children who are dying through the blockade of the ports. Uh, and what's at stake here is the destruction of many, many lives uh, in Yemen. And that's what needs to be considered above business deals uh, to secure jobs for British workers. There should be no choice between jobs in Britain and lives of Yemeni children. 
Critics say Britain should not trade away its principles and values. Now the burden is on the May government to show whether or not the partnership with this Persian Gulf state is more than just big business.